Kevin Fry with your Eastern Area Fisheries Report. Cat fishing continues good for rod and reel, jugs and hand fishing. Some good catches of channel catfish by bank anglers in the upper end of Yatesville Lake. Anglers using jugs or noodles with bait two to three foot deep in Main Lake doing well at Dewey Lake for channel catfish and some blue catfish. Bluegill action seems to be fair around wood or weed structure and shallow water. Wax worms and Japanese beetles working well as bait under a floater for these panfish. Largemouth bass fishing has been slow for keeper fish numbers. Dusk and dawn times with top water and spinner baits getting some fish. Daytime fishing, receiving best action, slow rolling plastic worms or lizards on bottom. Gizzard shad schooled up in the upper end of Buckhorn Lake and into the river, attracting musky now. Hi, this is John Williams with our fishing report for southeast Kentucky. With the recent rains, most of our major rivers are pretty muddy and up. So probably your best bet's heading to one of our lakes. At Lake Cumberland, the Curl Clark reports striped bass fishing's been good of late, especially early in the morning by trolling or drifting live bait. Also, crappies picked up, catching some nice crappie at night on jigs and minnows, uh, also some during the daytime. And the smallmouth fishing's been pretty good around mid-lake areas, especially early in the morning, uh, getting some jumps early. Elsewhere, uh, below the Lake Cumberland and the tailwater, it's always a good bet during the summertime with that cool water coming through the dam. Trout are always biting spoons, inline spinners, and uh, fly fishermen with a variety of baits uh, can usually catch some nice trout. We were there sampling last week and saw a lot of nice browns and rainbows in the slots. As always, good luck and good fishing. This is Tom with your fishing report from the Northeast. Cabron Lake is currently slightly over summer pool levels, and most fish species are hard into our summer patterns. For bass, this means focusing on weed beds and deeper structures. Most reports have the overslot bass coming deeper on plastics and smaller in-slot fish coming shallower. The topwater bite is sketchy, um, but watch for any insect hatches that may kick this off. Crappie are being caught at night pretty well, um, and if you can find brush that hasn't been fished to death, you can pick up some during the day. Minnows are good, but jigs are much better. Grayson Lake is also slightly above summer pool levels, and again, you'll be looking at our typical summer pattern. Bass are being caught early in the mornings and late uh, in the evenings on top water and through the days on soft plastics. Uh, but wherever you go, good luck and stay safe.